filming some sort of documentary then? Oh. No, we're... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, <you think> so. <laughs> Hello, my name is Maria and I am a property buyer. You might have seen my face on a couple of videos previously. I've been with the business for almost six months now, which is actually really quite scary. So I joined just after we broke out of um, the initial lockdown. And that was actually a really, you know, really exciting time, I suppose, for me. It was a little bit you know, nerve wracking thinking, okay, joining a business possibly at a time where, you know, there was a lot of uncertainty, but it just goes to show really the strengths of not only what Cornerstone stands for, but really the need across the social housing um, market and industry at the moment. So at Cornerstone, we've decided we really want to give you a bit of an insight into what the different teams and what the different sub-departments of the business get up to on a, on a daily basis, really. A couple of weeks ago, I did manage to get out and about with Maria. A very kind of different surreal experience, wearing masks the whole time, keeping distance away from the, the people shown around the property. But we've got a real good insight into the kind of things that she sees on a daily basis and the kind of relationships that she's um, developed with all these different estate agents and, and contacts. Let's take a look at what we've got up to, shall we? That's where are we then, Maria, quickly? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Coventry we're, somewhere. We're in Coventry somewhere. We are viewing a few three beds today. Yeah. Um, so we're obviously looking for a couple of options, looking for longer term, so move on properties. But we're also sourcing on behalf of a couple of our like trusted partners as well in charities. And obviously the market's just crazy still at the moment. Yeah. So trying to get out as soon as the listings come on, really. Yeah. We okay to have yeah. a look, Mandy? Yeah. What do I do? If I say property buyer, that, that kind of doesn't give a fair fair picture on exactly all the projects that we've got ongoing. What that consists of is really sourcing properties for the business. So we've got lots of different contracts running with both councils and our partner charities. Finding properties, whether that's buying them or renting them, and then they would be allocated to families. So this would be a move on, you say? This would be a move on. So yeah. really the whole point is looking at, if we were to, oh, if we were to take it on, what we'd need to do Internally, I yeah. mean, really, the only thing that's jumped out would be the ceilings yeah. on this in this room and downstairs. Have a little look in here. The no, our text is quite funny, isn't it? It's yeah. like a weird curved. <laughs> yeah. Ceiling, yeah. What a neat job. Mum oh, and Dad's yeah. that's I've had quite a few of these old school. Really? Yeah, you can punch in them, can't you? I used yeah. to have a cabin bed. When, <laughs> yeah. Used to have a cabin bed when I was a kid. I used to just when I got bored. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. We had the Artex stuff that was like in peaks. Yes, yeah, we did. Do we, man? Yeah. It's having those relationships with agents as well. So the property world is it's quite small in that respect. People know people and, you know, I suppose we're quite fortunate that with our landlords and word of mouth through that. So we're really lucky in that respect for our investors. Um, they're almost getting like a fully managed service that they would pay an estate agent, kind of, you know, 10, 12% for um, um, every month. Whereas with us, they've got all of those benefits. So we have that twofold for them because we are their tenant and then also for the occupants that's going in there as well. We'd probably have to get one of the social lessons guys just to have a look. Yeah. Just more so for forward thinking any problems or safety. I think Bob and Cam will have a job yeah. here a little bit with a bit of too much <laughs> job, isn't it? Yeah. Especially those tiles. Yeah. <laughs> We'd be definitely off the Christmas card list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It has been loved. Yeah. I bet this is a nice little sun trap as well, actually. And it's not too badly overlooked. I mean, no. think 50% of the windows up there are the frosty ones in yeah. the bathroom areas, aren't they? seen so many ornaments. <laughs> it surely must be a bit frustrating at times to 
chase down all these leads and get kind of contacts, get deals that you think are in place and then they fall through all those changes to them. But that kind of tenacity and drive that, that the team have at Cornerstone and Maria has in particular never stops us really. We're always looking to get stuff over the line and, and we won't stop until it's done. Yeah, let's find out a bit more about what she thinks are her biggest rewards and biggest challenges in, in her role. Without a doubt, the handover to St Basil's, who are a youth homelessness charity. They're based in Birmingham, but they do a huge amount of great work across the Midlands. We help them find a property for 20 occupants. So between the age range, um, 18 and 25, it was just like a really good match of the owner who was completely on board. He bought an old care home, completely restructured it with his brother. Ongoing works there for three years. Then the first people to move in with his charity, and some of them, been in a b and during the whole of lockdown and I really hope we can provide more property to them. The biggest challenge for me is definitely people, if you mention homelessness, it's a no starter altogether. Or the word charity, you can't get, you can't get around that afterwards because people have already automatically got an opinion. We're in a position, fortunately, whereby um, so many people are, they, you know, they, they want their home to make a difference. So that, that's, yeah, that's one of the biggest challenges for me. We desperately need as many properties as possible. It'd just be a massive, massive way to end the year, especially with what, what 2020 has thrown at us and have helped so many more families get moved and get settled before Christmas. So making that a bit of a, a personal mission.